same story. <sighs> We've been through this, Sarah. But my mommy always used to read me a bedtime story. I'm not your mommy, Sarah. And you're a big girl now. Big girls don't need bedtime stories. They go to sleep all by themselves. You're our mommy. And you keep him from getting upset. Did, did he hit you? Again? Oh. You, you know Vigo has a temper, Sarah. You, you have to. You have to be more careful. Soon, I'm not going to be around to protect you. And you need to be able to look after yourself. Stay as safe as possible. Will I ever see my mommy again? Did your mommy ever read you Red Riding Hood? And, and did Little Red Riding Hood see her mother, her grandmother, and the woodsman again, even after dealing with the big bad wolf? Yes. Well, then there's always hope. Okay. Um, Sarah, you, you need to get some rest, okay? Lay down. You should stop talking to those things. I need someone to take care of them. You get too attached, and I didn't just open up an orphanage or start a family. Remember, this is business. Well, I don't know if I can. Can what? I don't know if I can look at it the way you and your clients do. Excuse me? Let me tell you something, honey. How do you think you get the clothes on your back or can afford to eat at the restaurants you like? Shit, if more for me and my clients, don't you forget that. It feels wrong! How long are we gonna go on pretending that this kind of life is okay? Life is about survival. It's about being the last one standing at the end of the day. If anything, I'm doing those girls a favor. Teaching them that life. It's tough. What am I supposed to do? Keep your mouth shut and be glad it's not you. Remember, I'll do all this for you, baby. You wanna end up on the streets like one of those girls? You gotta think about us, me. Come here. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? Baby, don't you wanna be happy? Investigate, but the traffickers must have caught wind. Do you know anything about anyone that might be in that building yet? 